All right, guys, I wanted to give you a little heads up on the video you're about to see on this F-150. The serpentine belt was chirping. It was making a real annoying chirp, like a cricket in there. And what I did was I did a water test. I don't show that in the video. I want you to know about it, so if you have that problem, you can check it out online. I sprayed some water on the belt, and the chirp went away. So I knew I had a pulley wobble or a pulley misalignment issue. And uh, if you continue to get a chirp, that means you most likely have a bearing that's going bad. Could be the idler pulley, could be the tensioner pulley, or some other you know bearing in the alternator. And if you get a squeal when you put water on that belt, it's probably a tension issue. There's not enough tension on the belt. The belt could be old or worn, stretched, or um, it could possibly be the tensioner itself is, is weak. So anyhow, I hope you enjoy the video. I don't show how to remove or replace the harmonic balancer. You can find that information out on your own. It's uh, easy enough to do, but I do show you why the belt was chirping, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. I'm going to get back to watching uh, Wild Odd Northern Boy here and uh, see what's going on with his paint booth. So you guys uh, stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. the blue oval today's fun project um, we got a squeal listen to this idles uh, engines idling down in there down in those pulley area I want to get a shot of the crankshaft pulley a harmonic balancer for you I think that's the cause this belt is only about 4,000 or about has about 4,000 miles on it. Look in there. Hopefully you can see that. All the other pulleys are running smooth. All right, watch it. the truck here's a harmonic balancer or the crankshaft pulley it's a harmonic balancer is what it is in between this steel piece and this inner steel there's a rubber kind of like a bushing well if you look here the bushing in this area is in well it's in right here it sticks out a little bit here and it goes way back deep in here and then up top Right along here, look, you can see it's sticking out. Right along here. I hope you guys can see it. Let me try to zoom in. Right along in here. It's out. So that's why this, this thing is wobbly. And we've got the chirp going on. So I'm going to have to remove the belt, take out this bolt, replace this harmonic balancer, put the belt back on, and... Hopefully we're chirp free and the cricket's gone. All right, guys, here's where we're at. I pulled the harmonic balancer off. I've got the fan shroud off. Of course, the fans, the clutch is off. Um, that goes on, the screws on here to the water pump. It's counterclockwise to remove it this way. Big, uh, big shout out to Brian's mobile, mobile, mobile one, I think it is, mobile, mobile one he he said uh on one of his videos how to remove this fan clutch and let me tell you it won't want to come loose because it'll spin on that pulley what you do is i'll show you the evidence here bear with me right here you see that notch what i did was I took the air gun air hammer i mean i got this uh point on it Got right on that nut at about this angle. Buzzed it a couple times, boom, it loosened right up, man. Hey, so shout out to him. Any of you guys uh, check out his channel. He's got some great stuff. Anyway, so I wanted to show you that. 
Here's the uh, harmonic balancer puller. You'll need one of these. And this is the old one. Here's the new one. And I'm going to get that sucker in. I just didn't want to get too far ahead and, and not share the fun with you. So, so far, so good. This fan shroud is kind of tough. You got to wiggle it out. But um, once you get the fan clutch loose, unscrewed, you bring up the whole unit together, one piece. So this whole thing comes out pretty much together. You got to kind of turn it. If this is the front of the car, you know, the headlights are up here and you're looking at it and this is the driver's side, you got to flip this side up and then kind of bring it like this up and out all as one unit. Try not to bust up the AC condenser too much. All right, we'll check back in a little bit. Put this air um, tube back in that goes to the throttle body because what I'm going to do now, I put the original belt on, the belt that was just on there that was making a squeak or we heard the squeak. There's the new harmonic balancer. Everything's in. I don't have the fan hooked up, so I'm going to start the um I'm going to start the, actually I'll put the two more pulley bolts back in here. And then I'll start it. I'll put you on the uh somewhere here and we'll fire it up. We'll see if we're uh our little cricket friend is gone or not. Like I say, I'm not going to run it long because I don't want it to overheat without that fan on. But we'll know pretty quick. So far, so good. I don't hear any chirp at high idle. The engine's cold. Let's give it a little, uh, give it a little throttle here. Look at that harmonic balancer now. That thing's a little steadier, a lot steadier. That's how it should be. That goes to show you guys. Let me uh, let me shut the engine off. Don't just chase parts. Don't just you know start chasing parts. Throw a belt at. Well, if the belt's old, yeah, start with that. But we saw how that pulley was wobbling, and then when we went down there, I showed you guys how that that rubber was out of place. The liner in between the two two pieces of metal. That's the uh, the emissions winding down there. I'll stop in a second. That's not my stomach grumbling. Anyhow, um, you know, you can start replacing tension pulleys and idler pulleys and this pulley, that pulley, power steering. Everything was good. I didn't even take the belt off to turn it. I could tell that that was bad by the wobble and how that was out of shape. So that's a lesson to learn. Don't just start throwing money at it. And It's a lot of time and headache and aggravation. Do it right. Diagnose it. Get the evidence. And uh, that'll lead you to what the problem is and then replace it. So let me give you the part number for that harmonic balancer. I used a Dorman. Yeah, made in China. What are you going to do? Here's your part. This is for, this model is a 97. I believe it's to the 03. 4.6 liter. 594.189. Yeah, this is kind of weird here. See this? That rubber's pushed in. This is the um, this is the back side. This would be against the engine. So I could just see how deep it is in here. You probably can't pick it up on camera. And when I'm feeling around here, this this ring should be flush with this inner ring. And right here, it's definitely low. The rubber bushing is pushing out here. It's shot. And it's low here. Let's see if I can show you that. Let's do this kind of angle here. Zoom, focus. There we go. It's, we're looking right in here where this rim ridge is. See there? It's almost almost flush. I spin it around. You can see how much higher it is right here. Hopefully you can. Done deal. All right. I'm going to put this stuff back in, and uh, that's it. The job's done. I'm just going to put the fan clutch and the shroud in. Done. Ready to go back to work.
Okay, so I put everything back together. Truck runs great. I took it for a test drive. No more chirping. I don't hear any squeaking, so that's a good thing. I appreciate you guys watching. That thumbs up down there, click that thumbs up right down there. Comment, subscribe. It's all right down here below this box. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. It's about 11 o'clock, 11.30 right now. I'm tired. It's Thursday night. Truck's ready to get back to work tomorrow. So I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.